Get your League of Legends t-shirts and smartphone cases today on lolcom.com. Buy anything, get a free mouse pad. Wow! Unbelievable! Hey, what's up, GG? Quibble is back today to play Trindamir, the 5 seconds man at top lane. And the gameplay you're going to see was done in a normal game, but the tactic that I'm going to use actually, no, sorry, actually worked quite well in rank 2. But before hopping in the commentary, let's talk about my setup. For summoner spells, I take flash and smite because I will try to counter jungle right at the beginning of a game. For runes, I take armor, penetration, red, flat armor, yellow, magic raises per level, blue, and flak attack damage for Quentin senses. For masteries, I take 2190, 21 points and offense to boost my physical power, and 9 points and defense to survive in the laning phase. For starting items, I take a cloth armor to increase my armor, um, a ward to send incoming jungle gang, and 2 health potions to heal if I get my ass handed by my opponent. Well then, let's get the show on the road! Uh, right now, I'm staying in the barren pit to not be seen by an enemy and I plan to spin to win through the trees when the jungle monsters spawn to try to steal the red buff. But my tactic will probably not work because I have two freaking junglers! That's right! Both Lee Sin and Atrox have smite so they will get the red and blue buffs at the same time. Screw these butt fucking friends, but whatever, I'll still try to steal something. So here I am like a sneaky ninja, Jess goes back in lane and I luckily didn't get spot. I'm waiting until the lizard gets low enough to smite it, but I failed because Atrox used it before me. So now I just decide to get the fuck out of there instead of trying to kill that fucker bitch for two reasons. First, that guy has flash so he can just run away to safety. Second, even if I do catch up to the bastard and kill him, he will simply revive thanks to his stupid passive and I'll be the one giving first blood since the enemy mid laner and top laner will be here to screw me up before I can send a truck to Oblivion a second time. Anyway, I'm back in lane and I attack the minions to try to get my fury bar to full. But why aren't that cool? Are you serious dude? It's because I will have a 35% chance to crit that wrench for the fucker giving me the advantage in lane. But here comes my nemesis with his kamikaze attack and I spin away to safety before I get into a fearsome threesome. Now that the jungle is gone, we're back at the usual boring farm time, so I'm going to fast forward the boring stuff. When your fury bar is full, charge at Jace with a spin and try to stick to him like a crazy glue to damage him. But yeah, if you get knocked back with his armor of doom, that's just too bad. But it's alright guys and girls, just keep on trying over and over again until- HOLY MOTHERFUCKING DOUBLE JUNGLERS GANG! I'm getting sandwiched by two homos and a monster with a large dick! I try to spin away to safety but I get boing boing by a truck's kamikaze attack! And I go down! <laughs> now, I'm pissed. Just wait until I'm level 6 and you're gonna taste my super dick judge killing spree attack you mother bitches! Anyway, I bought this item to get more life steal and a longsword. <laughs> Long sword my ass, it's freaking x small. Oh damn, that was off topic. Um, <laughs> I bought these items because I want to build a Blade of the Rune King. I push back top a bit, I head straight to the enemy's jungle to steal the red buff and I spot my worst nightmare. I immediately switch my target to him, I manage to land a critical strike, oh thank you Daily Luck, and deploy my chicken shout to slow that slug. He gets further away from me, he then uses splash to get the fuck out of my large dick sword. I pursue him without giving up and I spin to win for the kill. Whoa, hey, coming thing like that is really exhausting. Oh, and ho, ho. Now these two guys are pursuing me, they want revenge for their fallen teammates. I use my spin through the trees hack and I get away to say oh what the fuck oh no I'm warding the freaking bush <laughs> and because of that listen managed to huddle can me seeing my troll trundle with me I decide to fight back against that blind fucker bitch and I use a rig spin to win combo to finish him off the enemy ninja is here to kill me because I'm almost dead I use my sadistic heal to survive the attack he throws some shuriken on me and I'm still alive Jace is coming at me through the top river and I attack spin to win to get away to safety and to get an assist, of course. I'm still getting pursued by Jace. He flashes. He uses a slow electric monkey ball to try to get me. But yeah, I avoid it because it was so damn slow. I hide in the bush. I use my chicken shell to slow him. And I use a spin to win auto attack combo to secure the kill. And now we're finishing the counter jungle that I start at the beginning. Grand success. So now I'm not going back home to buy some items. I'm just going back up to farm and because I want to have even more pocket money. I'm going back home now because I have enough money for my Blade of the Rune King and Award to protect me from incoming gangs. And since I have a Blade of the Rune King, I don't hesitate to spin to win your Jace. I get knocked back. I use my chicken shell to slow him. He tries to juke me in the bush but it doesn't work. I swing my big sword on his ass to slow him with my red buff. He uses his W to get a huge movement speed boost to get away from me but hey, it doesn't work because I can just spin to win for the win. 
Right now, I'm dominating my lane, even though I <laughs> dropped my Durk like in the beginning with the three man gang. Now, I'm pushing my lane, and the Black Fucker Bitch is here to do my partner, the Blood Sucker. Blood goes on, and he doesn't hesitate to tower dive because he can be targeted by the turret when he's in his blood pool, and one of Bruce Lee goes down. Back at top, I finally take down the turret to get more gold for our team, and we can finally swim in a gold bath. And guess what? Atrox is pissed, so he decides to go AFK at Fountain. Oh wait, he's not even AFK, he's dancing, you can see him dancing, and <coughs> sorry, uh, yeah, he's dancing, and you can see him recall, so it's not really AFK, he's just staying there because he's pissed at the game, and yeah, what I want to say about that AFK leaving the game or anything is that, please don't do that, even if it's a normal game, you, you try to... Oh wait, I'll talk about that later. Trindamir and Darius goes in for a sneaky gang. Trindamir uses the chicken shot to slow him. And Jace uses Flash to get away. Are they gonna tower dive? Yes, they are! Darius uses an exhaust and a get over here combo. Trindamir gets back in the face, but he comes back with a spin and he gets a kill. And yeah, that's a super Darius, by the way. Oh, what the fuck? I still have rage? Oh, I'm so dumb. Anyways, like I said, um, what I want to say is don't go AFK even if you're getting wrecked because you're just gonna ruin the experience for the other players. And no one really likes uh, <laughs> having AFK and their teams, you know. You're just gonna get report. You might get banned for nothing. And we, see, we even see you dancing at the fountain. Come on, dude. Oh, and by the way, it's not only Atrox that went AFK because his duo, listen, his bot fucking friend, went AFK too. You see, these guys went a double jungle and they didn't have a good game, so they just decided to go AFK. That's that's really bad. You're you're the one breaking the meta, and then you go AFK because you're not happy. Nah, nah, nah. It, it doesn't go like that. That's that's just plain stupid in my opinion. So uh, yeah, my word here is if if you do something that is not following the meta, please, please for God's sake, don't go AFK just because you're not satisfied with the result. It might not be a big thing for you because uh, you don't care about the game, but for the usual uh, casual player, uh, it's really frustrating because you come here to have fun. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to have a bad day. You want to relax, and when you do that, you're you're not taking in consideration the other players, and uh, that's really, uh, if I can say, really up your part. I really like, <laughs> I really like this side of the community. <laughs> So anyway, we're here, we're trying to finish the game. As a team, we pretty much wanted to finish the game as early as possible to end the suffering of the three other people. What I want to show you in this game was that uh, you can take Smite as a top or mid laner and still the buff at level 1. I will probably play a top champion, take Smite and show you uh, the whole process once again uh, when I successfully do it. Whatever, that's it for today people and I'll see you next time. Ciao!